big up as well. He's your boy, Mr. DJ Zedge, formerly known. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd uh, do a little quick video here just to explain, you know, what's, what's been going on. Uh, you know, we've got the channel going on at the minute. There's been a few published videos. J just to highlight these videos that are published at the minute, they are old videos that I originally did upload back in the day. So look in 2011. Uh, then sort of videos, you know, from when I went to concerts and stuff like that, which I just decided to make public. At the time, there was some copyright issues. Um, so, yeah, no, hopefully people that are subscribed to the channel or if you're new and um, viewing the content, you can enjoy the the posts that I'm putting up, you know, from my experiences with music concerts and whatnot. Um, you know, go, go, going to different venues, going to different places, seeing artists, um, you know, different events, whether that be cage fighting events, um, whether that be, you know, musical, like music events, you know, an art like Rihanna and a few other artists. So, um, you know, feel free to check out that content that could be new to you guys, you know, um, quality can be a bit muffled just purely because, you know, you're talking uh, over 10 years ago now. So, you know, talking back in that, I know the quality here isn't, isn't that great, but I'm doing it on a laptop and, uh, you know, the webcam isn't that great. But, um, yeah, no, the quality there, it, it's like, you know, phone quality from back in the day, um, so to be expected. But no, other than that, it's, it's pretty good. Um, just to give a round up, you know, I went to the Cage Warriors 157 event that recently took place at the Indigo O2. Still enjoying the MMA scene, still liking the MMA scene. Um, highly in touch now with more so the underground lot. So, you know, like the ones, so the Cage Warriors um, promotion not i mean still watch the ufc um not as followed as closely um as what i used to you know i used to upload a lot of videos to do the reviews and the predictions and stuff like that but um more so now in touch with with with, with the lower promotions um so like you know that where people starting out from so you know where conor mcgregor started out from cage warriors then he would then progress to be eventually become double champ uh, in the ufc so yeah and I, I went to uh, the indigo o2 to watch one of their events late, uh, most recently and i highly recommend uh, for anyone whether you're based in the us whether you're based in the uk to check out these promotions because you know you're going to see some quality fights and at this at the current market for the ufc the you know very overcharging with prices um a, a lot of people for the recent ufc event the ufc fight night where tom aspinall uh, was, was fighting on the card um a lot of people didn't wish to actually purchase ch purchase tickets purely because of the you know the, the the face value of the tickets which are being sold on axs.com and ticketmaster and really and truthfully the ufc have kind of um basically over sold their ticket prices for the cars that they're producing here in the uk um because we got used to the title fights with leon edwards and and, you know, for, for the prices that they're charging, people want a more solid card. You're looking at people like Nathaniel Wood, who was um, in the top. F well, he was actually the third fight from, from uh, the main event, uh, just before Molly McCann. And I actually did see uh, Nathaniel Wood fight in the Cage Warriors promotion. And, you know, when you're looking at stuff like £25, £35 ticket currently for the Cage Warriors promotion, and then you're sizing it up against, even if you want to be at the very top of the O2 arena, you're looking at a £120 ticket. Um, it's just ridiculous, you know, it is absolutely ridiculous for the prices that they're charging, especially with the current market, with the current financial crisis, that we, uh, cost of living crisis, should I say, that we're seeing here in the UK market. Um, the, the UFC have definitely outsold themselves um, in terms of ticket pricing for the events that they're producing here in the UK. But, that being said, the UFC fight now card was good. Glad Nathaniel Wood got the win. A lot of people are happy that Molly McCann lost and now she's dropping down the division. And uh, the hype has been stopped. And a lot of people will agree that, you know, they believe that um, she was overhyped. You know, everyone's saying, I'll see on the comments, meatball, sub and all this, you know, taking taking the piss out of, um, out of her, you know, and... Uh, you basically throw into like a subway <laughs> meatball sub and all that um, because she got submitted obviously um no it's good you know i like this mma community the mma community is strong it's just got stronger ever since i started um i wouldn't put that down to me obviously you know i'm just some regular guy or whatever and used to put thumbnails up and stuff like that. but to see the sport evolve you know from 
UFC 100, you know, we're looking at to UFC coming up to two, uh, UFC 291. Um, it's just ridiculous. And a lot of that is because of the Conor McGregor hype. A lot of that is because of the people that have come into the sport um, and the voice that they've had, you know. And which also leads to um, the topic of the Bellator promotion. You know, the second, well, people would argue the second top promotion. Uh, you could argue that 1FC is the second you know, or Pride was back in the day, you know, Pride was pretty big, but 1FC currently, um, but yeah, no, they're looking at basically, or well, Scott Coker, should I say, is looking potentially at selling it, hence why MVP, you know, Michael Venom Page is a free agent, who was also spotted at the UFC London event, so it'll be interesting to see whether, what you, what move do you, the UFC makes on him, um, but you got to look at his age, right, his, his age is, I think it was like 36, he ain't got long left in the game. He should have gone to the UFC a long time ago. But that being said, I do understand why a lot of fighters go to Bellator, especially when you look at the pay differences. You know, Back in the day, UFC fighters would be able to have their own sponsors, get paid a lot more money than what they do now. And Bellator, as a promotion, allowed the fighters to make the money that they should be earning from sponsors. You know, Whereas we're, if UFC fighters, they are very... Um, Basically, they're, they're stuck. They're, they are stuck, you know, especially if you're one of these lower card people. They're very stuck, you know, getting paid a few thousand pounds for a fight or a few thousand dollars for a fight. But then when you weigh in the costs of training, tra tra training costs, so you've got to pay your trainers, nutritionists, um, you know, just all of this cost, you know, med medical insurances for the, Uf uh, for, for the US, you know, and to, to get all of this medical assistance, it doesn't come cheap. So when you deduct all of these payments from their paycheck that they get from uh, Dana White and the UFC, a lot of these fighters that are on these cards are making not a lot. You know, look at Darren Stewart, for instance, you know, a, a guy who comes from um, my part of the UK, the East, East London, you know, and he was a part of the UFC, came up from Cage Warriors, went to the UFC, and then what happens there? You know, he goes on a free fight loss streak, I believe. He gets cut from UFC, and now he's back in the Cage Warriors promotion. And he gave up his day job to fulfil to, to fulfill his dream of actually, you know, fighting full time, which is props to him. But it, it, the UFC doesn't allow for that to happen. Whereas Bellator allowed the allowed the actual fighters to go out and get their own sponsors and put some more money in the fighters pocket and they should be paid a lot more this is why we're seeing francis Ngannou going off to fight tyson fury you know the, the, these are the reasons why because the, let's be real the dana white and the ufc very tight you know they're very tight and given to their fighters and, and and this is why they was looking at getting the um a lot of a lot of fighters to come together to basically get 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 their union. I remember there was talks of the MMA union, you know, where they was going to fight for fighters' rights, fighters' pay, and rightly so. But um, I don't know what the current update was, that was, but that was back in the day. I remember that being a, a topic of conversation. And that is something, you know, when you're looking at the refs like Mark Goddard getting 200 grand a year, and then you compare that to these fighters that are going out, putting their bodies on the line, you know, fair enough, it's their choice, but... Surely a ref should be paid less than the fighters that are actually fighting on average, you know, especially if, if a fighter is, you know, averaging out three fights a year when you've got to take into consideration recovery time, training time, you know, and all of that. Whereas I know Mark Goddard goes out to all these events week after week, refing, but at the same time, these fighters are not getting paid the right amount of money. Hence why we're seeing this this problem where a lot of the fighters now jump into different promotions or seeking different adventures or, or, or adventures in terms of you know going into the boxing world that you know that, that that's what we saw with Tyron Woodley going up against um, Jake Paul and it's all and, and then also Ben Askren you know we, we, we're looking at the shift in this because of the fighters not getting paid what they want and it's a shame because the UFC and Dana White know that they have a hold on the market a, a big big hold on the market a lot of the UFC fan base are very casual fans you know you, you've there, there are hardcore fans which will look into 1FC like myself they'll look into Bellator they'll look into um, Cage Warriors uh, you know Titan FC you know L, um, I think it's LFA you know these type of promotions where a lot of the fan base is casuals because of the names on the card Conor McGregor big draw he's not even a good fighter in a, uh, anymore you know in the MMA world let's be real but 
because of the pay-per-view numbers that he can produce, this is why he's paid that amount of money, which is fair enough, he gets a big cut of the pay-per-view shares. But look at the look at the rest of the fighters that have been fighting con continuously throughout that time. You know that, that don't really get a lot. So um, this is just a quick video, but I thought I'd share my thoughts and also just give you a quick update on what's going on with the channel. I might be uploading more. Uh, might be covering UFC events, uh, Cage Warriors events. Um, maybe not as frequent. Uh, it depends when I've got the time. Very busy these days um, with work and you know just social life and life in general. But um, yeah, no, I hope to keep in touch produce more content hopefully I know I've said this before but I genuinely mean it produce more content I know we've covered a lot of topics here it's just in a round off but uh, I'd like to go a bit more in depth in these because I feel like it's a good conversation feel free to comment below um, what you'd like to see what content or even if you want to comment on some of the stuff that I've even mentioned uh, in this video you know and it'll be good to get that conversation flowing and actually kind of build a proper MMA community I know that there's probably an MMA community already in the YouTube space um, but I was probably I don't, I don't want to sound a bit sarcastic here well probably one of the OGs um, you know I know Ariel Hawani had his MMA hour and stuff like that but probably one of the OGs where when especially in the UK market whereby a lot of people wasn't watching it wasn't accessible I think it was Satanta Sports Bravo you know that that sort of thing but now it's, it's just evolved into a whole new beast which is good to see it's good to see the MMA market evolve um so yeah now it'd be good to good to catch up with everyone good to hear your thoughts and uh good to speak about these topics so please do keep in touch and I'll be back with a new video pretty soon I'm very sure so uh take care and uh keep safe cheers bye bye